Hey, good morning. It is said that the person who thinks they can't and the person who thinks they can, both of them are actually right. Good morning. It's breakfast with James Okumu. Breakfast is served. Let's begin with a scripture this morning. Judges chapter 6 and verse 15, the story of Gideon, it says, But Gideon said to him, Please, Lord, how am I to rescue Israel? Behold, my family is the least significant in Manasseh, and I am the youngest, smallest in my father's house. This week, we have been talking about dream killers, and we wrap it up this morning as we talk about doubt. Gideon looked at himself, looked at his family, and he thought, I'm not the man for the job. His point of reference was his past. Yet God's point of reference, as he called him, was the potential in him and the future. When you look at yourself, what do you see? When you think about the dream that God has laid in your heart, does it seem too big? Do you look at yourself and you think, I'm not qualified for it? Do you look at the surroundings and think, I'm not at the right place? Do you look at your resources and think, these resources cannot even begin to accomplish the dream that God has placed in my heart? If you allow those things to build up in you, they will build up doubt. And you will get to a place, you will look at the dream and you will look at yourself and fear and doubt work together. You will think, not me maybe somebody else well this morning i'm here to encourage you don't allow doubt to take root in your heart when you really think about it god did not add anything to gideon he just got him to see himself from a different perspective i pray that if your heart is building up doubt that god will allow you to see your dream and yourself from a different perspective so that like Gideon you can arise as a mighty man mighty woman of valor to go in and make it happen let's pray Heavenly Father your word tells us without faith it is impossible to please you this morning concerning the dreams that you have planted in our hearts they seem big and we don't seem like we have enough resources or experience but may we not allow doubt to spring up in our hearts. Instead, may we arise in faith to believe and to declare, if God has called me to do this, then he will equip me with everything that I need. For I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We thank you and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say it, amen. Banish fear and doubt from your heart and engage and begin the process of making those dreams to become a reality. Shortly, one another moment. This week on our one another moment, kingdom culture, the way we are supposed to live our lives as believers as we interact one with another. We've been highlighting on serving one another. And I want to wrap it up by encouraging you, looking at the scripture, Hebrews 6 and verse 10. It says, for God is not unjust so as to forget your work and the love which you have shown for his name in ministering to the needs of the saints, God's people, as you do. What's my encouragement to you today? That as you serve others, your labor in the Lord is not in vain. God is not like a man who forgets. Sometimes you do good to people, you serve them, you minister to them, but they forget. God doesn't forget. And so every little thing you do to serve somebody, even if it's just giving them a cup of water, God takes note, he does not forget, and he will reward you. Well. Hope you have a lovely Sunday today. Thank you for being a part of this fellowship. Remember, in case you want to see the previous uh, devotions and breakfast, all you need to do is to download our app, Clean Money Media, on the Google App Store. You will get everything there, plus lots of other great content. To on the next week, let's see what God will have in store for us. Stay blessed. Breakfast is served.